Because here's what we know. If folks get their updated vaccines and they get treated, they have a breakthrough infection. We can prevent essentially every COVID death in America. Wow, that sounds like a really good deal. That is a remarkable fact two and a half years after we found this virus first in our country. But it's going to take all of us to make that happen. So please, don't wait. Get your COVID shot. Get your flu shot. That's why God gave you two arms. You can one in each arm if you want. No. Now, calm down, YouTube. It wasn't me that said it. It was the Washington Post. Welcome back, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving Day Eve to you all. I just saw this news drop a couple hours ago, and it kind of blew my mind, especially coming from the Washington Post of all places. An analysis titled, Vaccinated People Now Make Up a Majority of COVID Deaths. Quote, 58% of coronavirus deaths in August were people who were vaccinated or boosted, according to an analysis conducted for The Health 202 by Cynthia Cox, vice president at the Kaiser Family Foundation. It's a continuation of a troubling trend that has emerged over the past year. As vaccination rates have increased and new variants appeared, the share of deaths of people who were vaccinated has been steadily rising. In September 2021, vaccinated people made up just 23% of coronavirus fatalities. In January and February this year, it was up to 42%. Now, this is a topic I don't wade into often because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, and I'm not particularly knowledgeable on this topic, and I try to keep it fact-based on this channel. This is a legitimate story coming from what most can considered, especially on the left, to be a legitimate source of news. So I do want to make that clear before I say the next line. Quote, we can no longer say this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. <laughs> Being unvaccinated is still a major risk factor for dying from COVID-19, but efficiency wanes over time. And an analysis out last week from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention highlights the need to get regular booster shots to keep one's risk of death from coronavirus low, especially for the elderly. I get it. I don't get it. Now, being fact-based and showing all sides on this, Vows chimed in to say that, quote, considering the fact that around 95% of Americans age 50 and up, the age range, which is by far the most likely to die from COVID, has gotten at least one vaccination. That makes sense. So basically, Vows is saying that the reason that vaccinated are the majority of COVID deaths now are because the majority of deaths in general are 50 and over, who are also the most vaccinated people and the most at risk from dying from COVID. Okay, that's a fair point but they started out saying that this shot protected against getting it, spreading it, hospitalization, and death. In fact, they said that it would end COVID altogether. So now we have two vaccines that are really quite effective. The mRNA vaccine, highly effective, extraordinarily efficacious, 94 to 95 percent for mild to moderate disease and virtually 100 percent efficacious because the real world effectiveness is even more impressive than the results of the clinical trial. All right, folks, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share it, and let us all know what you think in the comments. Thanks a lot.